We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerd Game Report. I am, of course, Trex, and alongside me, as always, the official Resident Evil co-streamer, Stevie B. Welcome. That's right. Apocalypse. Drop, drop them claps, folks. That's right. He was Stevie B. Major props. Signed up to be the official co-streamer for the Resident Evil stream tomorrow. Uh, what, and that's we'll, we'll that's definitely right. Uh, first get a little bit into that, but uh, but man, congratulations, right. dude. That's awesome. Thank you. And uh, we just got a new follow. I, I missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, da, 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 I, I'm sorry. I missed it. I don't have I don't have the alerts up. Uh, Anime Sue. Thank you so much for the follow. Wah, wah, wah. Welcome to the apocalypse. I don't think we have that up for this, but there you go. That, that's I recorded myself saying that like a chump. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, I randomly put in for it like a few weeks ago. I don't know, and so I put I just put down my stuff right. Like I had to put down. I put down our Twitch channel, my Resident Evil YouTube, not our YouTube, but I put down our Twitch channel, my Resident Evil YouTube, my Twitter handle, and uh, they were like, "All right, well, here's." This here's that here's go f tomorrow. You're on. And I'm like, thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm nervous and excited. And I, I don't know. Like, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stream it and I'll put it on the YouTube channel. So if you if you can't be, it's five p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll probably be live about four thirty, depending on when I get home from work. So as close to four thirty as I possibly can be. And uh, and this. The actual show starts at 5 p.m. So I'm excited. I'm excited. There's no telling what's going to be announced. I'm very excited. Um, there's a lot of guesses out there. If I had to give my official guess, as uh, I would, would you consider me uh, 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 like an ex expertise on the matter? Uh, an expert an on ex Resident Evil? Yes. I don't want to give myself that title, but I feel a lot better if you do. I mean, you're a pretty solid Wikipedia. Perfect. So, uh, with my with my with my background uh, in the fandom, if I had to guess, I would say these are the things that are going to get announced. We're obviously going to see a new Village trailer, some gameplay. We're going to get a release date announcement. We're going to get a collector's edition announcement, and the release date's going to be in like April. It's going to be really soon, I think. And uh, then, then we're going to get like see some kind of multiplayer thing because that's definitely going to happen because I signed up to play the beta for some multiplayer thing. I don't know what it is. And then there's going to be a surprise announcement. I think that surprise announcement is going to be the original Resident Evil 4, but in VR. It's a long list. Oh, and that's right. And, and, and uh, I think it's pretty obvious that they're going to do also upgrade packs visually for seven on the one x or excuse me series x and ps5 see how true i am there you go but enough about me trex yeah enough about i know that's saying a lot from I, I have to humble myself tonight well i got that stuck in my head now <laughs> i have to humble myself i'll let you go ahead trex Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special prize. Uh, special prize. Prize? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm out. Sorry. I'm out. That's it. I'm done. I don't know why <laughs> my word is <laughs> <went> with prize. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I, see all, I see it. I see the fingers. Oh, see my it. God. We have a special <laughs> guest. Uh, not really a special guest. Uh, a b special surprise. That's what it is. Special surprise. Oh my god! Look, mental health and dyslexia are real. No, <laughs> that that that's just you're naming things. You're not naming what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, whatever. Okay. Definitely, I think the word I was definitely looking for was surprise. But uh, we do have uh, a good surprise for everybody. We. CBB came up with a suggestion, and 
uh, brought it up to my to brought it to me, and I couldn't say yes faster to this because this person is super cool, super awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we are introducing our newest member to the Nerds of the Apocalypse crew. Uh, I think you all know her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my good buddy, Christina. Christina, welcome! Bam, 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 bam. And Wait, hold on. I got, a, I got a thing. I have a thing for you this. You do the thing? Here we go. And DMCA strike. We're going to jail. You can't, oh, no. you can't get a DMCA strike from the fucking horn. I got, Man. I got muted while playing Jenny LeClue for a freaking police siren. What? <laughs> a police yeah, they're, 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 they are out of fucking control on yeah. this. Uh, uh, like, I don't even know what to do. But hi, guys. And F you, Trex. You're welcome. Try. I can't, like, <laughs> it, it I is. I didn't. It is a weird word. It is a weird year (laughs) when you are more misogynistic than me. It doesn't make any sense. It's twenty. Like it only makes. It's twenty twenty one. This is how it is now. It just. It just doesn't make any sense. Darkest timeline. Darkest timeline. Darkest. We all. We've all kind of. We're like. We're all. And it's still in like this. We're all coming down from a haze from a four year gas leak. That's that's all. That's all. (laughs) For a four year long gas, gas leak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's a gas leak. <laughs> we're just coming down from it and we're trying to get our faculties together. <laughs> uh, uh, it was funny because after the inauguration day, I was like, oh, just like that. All right, this is great. <laughs> I, I, I like, uh, wait, what? what? What do we do now? Like, <laughs> yes. I am ecstatic for boring scandals. Like, <laughs> I know. Like, right? Oh no, Biden can't bring his bike. <laughs> <laughs> right? No shit. I read that full article and I'm like, you know, they have a point. <laughs> but still, it's, it's just so funny. It's like, oh no, he can't bring his bicycle. The travesty. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> the uh... everywhere are gonna riot. <laughs> That's right. Well, you picked a good week uh, uh, to start because there's really no fucking gaming news at all. I had to scrap the bottom of the barrels this week. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, I saw hopefully. that bottom of the barrel. It's mostly, mostly just, most mostly only up Trex's alley. Yeah, I mean that's how it goes, right? That's how <laughs> it goes, right? I mean, yeah. You sure. weeb. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. he's one hundred percent a weed. <laughs> that like, there's no question. Yeah, so it's the we, lady uh, with the cat ears. Um, well, first hey, off, no, hold hey, on a minute. That's I have a cat lady. Crazy yeah. cat lady. <laughs> God, Trex, could you could you please stop? Like, <laughs> whew. Hmm. Thank you, dear. Love you. It's it's fine. It's fine. Oh, but Christina, uh, yeah. being again, welcome aboard. Happy you're here. Uh, we usually start these off with uh, spending thirty to an hour talking about our lives, uh, ourselves. Have- you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been doing for uh, gaming this past uh, week? Uh, myself is my big achievement. Is oh my god that that actually was the thing I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Um, so yesterday I was streaming, uh, I, I came out of, from a little break and I decided let's go easy breezy and play Hades. Easy breezy. I die a lot, but, um, yesterday, yesterday, I freaking finally beat Hades on escape attempt 88. I beat Hades. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it was such an achievement for me. You can clap now, please clap. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't want to. Okay. I didn't want to clap over you talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> because because unlike Trex, I respect women. Okay, I just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I Stop laughing. <laughs> 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 
coming out with those punches, man. That's how that's how it goes around here. Yeah, I did it. I was pretty proud of myself. And then I got to see my mom. Nice. <laughs> uh, what was it? But you also didn't push the hashtag. So what does that mean? Well, so no, uh, I'm sorry. I, I was responding to somebody in the chat. I don't want to interrupt you. But Arwen's like, oh. hey, I, oh, I, I put stuff in the game report. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't put it in there. But you also didn't use the hashtag no to GR that I, that, I asked, that I asked everybody to do. So it's easy for me to go through. You never do it, Arwen. Never happens, okay? So I don't know if I even should start punishing it. So, so luckily, I didn't really have fuck all else. So I added the stuff you put into it. Most of it. Most of it. Not all of it. But most of it, okay? So there. So there, Arwen. Take that. How y'all doing? Uh, we're doing good. I mean, we are. I, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good day today. I'm still like... I'm backwards though because I started this new job and it's like I started somewhere. I talk, they're probably sick of hearing about it. I talk about like every stream, but like after 10 years and starting somewhere new, it's just like, oh God. So, like, I'm still trying to like wrap my hand around, wrap my hand, wrap my head around being somewhere else and this whole thing. So, uh, so uh, yeah, but uh, other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I play, uh, w- what are we playing? Uh, Monday, I played some more Spider Man Miles Morales on stream. That game is fucking good. That game is really good. Uh, I forgot how good it was because I hadn't played it since like the release of the PS5, and uh, I played a lot. Uh, I almost I had to stop playing because I had to go to work, but like I almost kept going. It was really, really good. and then I played some Among Us last night, so that was good. Nice, that was good. I also I, I reinstalled XCOM two, so nice. Uh, that's I'm a, never, I'm cool. never gonna get past like the, the first huge mission where like. <laughs> I, I I never do because I get punished so brutally. No yeah. matter what kind of setting I put it in, <laughs> everybody <laughs> dies. Oh, yeah, uh, Aaron just said XCOM two. Grats on RNG. Yeah, no shit. Like, oh man, like you never know what's gonna happen. I always get everybody killed, and then Raf judges me because I load saves constantly. <laughs> like, you gotta let him keep him dead, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> my yeah. bad. This time around, I'm putting my subs and followers oh, and friends in the game, so <laughs> everyone's going to die. Now. Yeah, yeah, you're totally dying. You're you're going to be, like, in all yellow, and it's like, Trex, shoot me, light. <laughs> 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 all like, the aliens are coming after you, buddy. No, get back out there and fight alien scum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. D E D dead. Um ah uh, yes, us and Trex is XCOM. Okay, we dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I remember I remember when Trex started that. He he would he would send me screenshots like every fucking day. He would send me like four to ten screenshots. Because he could play it on his phone. So he'd be like, some dope happened or someone died. Snap, snap, snap. And then I would just get like a barrage. Yeah. Uh, He's like, look, look what happened today on XCOM. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> cool. Trex and his phone gaming. Uh, That's right. On the new Samsung Galaxy oh, here we Note go. 20 Ultra here. 5G. Here we go. <laughs> I don't yeah, care. I'm yeah. getting a free uh, S21. So I'm sorry, guys. I I knew I knew it was gonna happen, and I went with it anyway. That's, that's all right. <laughs> what we have to make sure we get paid by our sponsors, like Trader Joe's sparkling water. Hey, I want to drink healthy and think it's healthy. Sparkling water, Trader Joe's. <laughs> and think it's, it's healthy. I at least want to drink and think it's healthy. That's I think that's how you meant to say. But that's fine. That's fine. Yo, this I can't take this, man. My lighting is all fucked up, man. I moved my desk around recently, and so like my light is messed up over here. And then I I got a new monitor, and it's bright as hell. So I pull up the Google Docs sheet, right? And so it's just like I need. I guess I need to put dark mode on on Google Docs. Maybe I need to figure that out. Yeah, because it's just Google, like boom! there was an update with Google Chrome where it actually made it dark mode Blind available. You? Yes, I, oh, I am in dark mode right now for I on need... Chrome. All right, talk amongst yourselves. I'm, I'm looking through my settings right now. 
Uh, you haven't played a real game of XCOM 2 until your new rookie has panicked and shot your best veteran in the back of the head. Oh my god, Lurker. <laughs> and it's happened to me so many times. It gets so angry. And then, <laughs> and then I rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, I'm not a person who will save and reload the save over and over, but XCOM 2 kind of pushes you to do that. You have to. It's like, what's the point if you don't, right? And uh, I think the last time I played, I was I was dumb enough to put on Iron Man mode. Oh shit! Everyone died. Every, everyone, and then I didn't have any more resources to recruit new ones, so everyone was just out of commission, and I lost <laughs> so bad and so quickly. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Ah. Uh, but uh so Trix, what's up with you yeah, uh not much well i there has been a little bit of gaming i've still been getting into dcuo this week celebrating the 10-year anniversary what, what? Uh, been working on the the website for it a little bit but it's really just been a crazy amount of work uh in in the the day-to-day -day job because we moved buildings i had to go out to different sites uh, in the upstate and low country. So I went up and down the state and it really has been crazy, but I will say gaming wise, I have been actually putting in some time on Xbox game pass on my oh, note 20 old begins. <laughs> I've been playing uh Torchlight three. It launched on Xbox game pass on X cloud on my phone. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to buy it on Steam, so this is perfect. Let me go ahead and try this game out that super fucking disappointed me because the developers were like, mm, we want to try something Whoa. new. You Whoa. know what? We really don't, so let's go back to what we kind of know and blah. What are you talking about? Oh, because it was MMO and then not? Torch, yeah, Torchlight 3 was originally going to be Torchlight Frontier. It was going to be an MMORPG, and during the like last moments of development they're like you know what we're gonna scrap the mmo aspect we will allow multiplayer but we're gonna make it a top down rpg linear progression everybody have fun wait you're killing me what i mean i still got four classes to choose from i can play as all four technically but i i decided to still try it out play it and uh on xCloud, this is the first game I've had where I've had screen tearing. And again, I am, excuse me, I am, of course, streaming it on my Wi-Fi, on the phone, but I'm getting discoloration on the screen. I'm getting screen tearing where I can barely see uh -oh. what's actually the real ground or enemies. Uh, but I still truck on because it's like, pew, pew, yes, yeah, fun, pew, pew. Uh but oh. all in all, it's it, I still have fun with the game, but this is the first time I've seen that kind of screen tear, and I'm like, ooh, this is definitely feeling like an MMO when it's not supposed to be an MMO, but man. But at the same time, I am still having fun with it. Uh, it's basically just been something to play while laying down in bed before, before going to bed that's not mind-focusing. I can just pew and just move all about my day. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, I used to pew and move about my day all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's like a good pew, am I right? Uh, you are absolutely correct. Oh, my gosh. I can't figure out how to turn dark mode on. <laughs> I'm still on this. I'm still... You, I'm you need to turn, everything. like, the brightness down on your monitor. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm going to have to. It says go to settings, but then there's nothing here for this. I don't know what to do. I mean, I... <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I don't even know how I found dark settings. I'm like going, I'm like trying to manage my Google account now. And like, I'm on the <laughs> Nova Google account. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do here. Like, this is, this is getting out of hand. Um, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So before we get on and let Trex, do you have anything else? I didn't want to rudely interrupt you. I'm sorry. Um, no, I mean, new alpha update for New World. They changed the combat where you can only use two weapons instead of the three. New UI and gameplay design for the crafting system. And, you know, just uh, let me in the goddamn game. I, oh, I can't wait for spring to come around. <laughs> I, need, I need this game. I get it. I totally get it. You, Yeah, you need your Madam X. 
I need this. I do. I do. Look, that uh, I'm talking about that meme has, has been lit up. So, because I'm doing the show, the, the whole thing I talked about earlier, like the showcase for the Resident Evil uh, Village game, and uh, it, there's like a three second clip of this like super tall. Uh, what people believe to be like vampire woman, I think I'm not. No one really knows yet, but she's just like super tall and very attractive, and uh, it's just hit the the Twitter and just the meme world, the Reddit in general, like wildfire. Like, but like there are people, there are uh, cosplay, like people are posting their cosplay pictures from this like three second clip. They're doing all kinds of drawings and stuff. And I was like, you know, this this person could mutate into something very not the same. And uh, they don't, they, they, no one cares. That's why I get it. No one cares. That's fine. But I just remember, I don't know if any, either one of you played Resident Evil 7, but I just remember what happened to the mom in that game. And uh, that was, that she, she pretty much turned into a big spider creature and you had to shoot her. In the direction of her hoo-ha. In her uh, cooter. Just, you can yes. say cooter. <laughs> cooter. To kill, the, to kill the spider. You got the authorization to say that. <laughs> what, what did Ari say on stream the other night? I forget. Oh, God. I know all of you. Remember. What, what did Ari call it on stream the other night? It's so funny. Uh, oh, I can't. It was, we all fucking died. Uh, but, yeah, that was that was, that was was a crazy-ass fight. It was a lot of fun. But in VR, it's even worse. Like, it's... In um, your face. One thing that... Yeah, it's very. <laughs> I will never um, play that game in VR ever. Oh, I played the whole. I played for my first playthrough. I played the whole thing in VR. It's fucking. Is worth the. Well, how much is that thing, Trex? Like four hundred dollars. It was worth. Yeah, the four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars system or five hundred. Yeah, it was worth every penny with that. So good. Uh, they haven't though announced if eight's going to be in VR. Um, I hope that they do. Like, oh, uh, like at this point, I'm like, why? Why haven't we got that announcement yet? Like, so hope, maybe maybe they'll announce it today. I don't know. Might do it tomorrow. Yeah, close. I hope they do. I mean, I I didn't get my free VR extension, the the transfer cable for nothing. Well, I got squadrons, but still, like, uh, I would love to play the game in VR if possible. So uh, it's set up the same way. It's all in first person again. So uh, maybe I hope some new info. We'll definitely get. We'll get all kinds of info. B. Don't worry. We will. We'll get all kinds of info. But anyway, I have been getting these on YouTube fairly faster. So hopefully this is the same with this video. And if you're watching on YouTube, you could have joined us live every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern at whoa, whoa, whoa did you got <laughs> Eastern whew, at twitch.tv slash there's the apocalypse. We're live every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, talking all the video game nonsense, all the stuff. We're talking all of it. And you can join on the chat, just like these people did right below us. Look at them. They're down there talking. And sometimes we even respond to what they say. So now, everyone, sometimes. That's right. Every once in a while, we may, we may bring you in the conversation. It's fine. Especially if you're shitting on tracks. <laughs> that's, that's almost a guarantee to be brought into the situation. The American Rack pastime. Though, that's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Speaking of Trex, what's coming out of news, buddy? New games coming out this week. We will have Ender Oh, what did Lilies. I say? I said news. I'm sorry. I meant to say what new games are coming out. My bad. Sorry, guys. <gasps> yeah, you're bad. I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ender Lilies uh, coming out on Steam Early Access on PC January 21st. Gravity Heroes coming out on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch on January 22nd. In Codia on PC January 26th. King Arthur Knight's Tale on Steam Early Access on PC on January 26th. And Cyber Shadow coming out on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and the Switch on January 26th. I'm actually going on Steam right now to see this King Arthur because we just finished watching uh, Cursed oh, we go. on Netflix. So, What's it called? Cursed. Cursed. I need to check that uh, out. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a CWE type fantasy that's linked to um nimue right yep. from um from the king arthur tales <clears throat> nice 
Yep, is uh like I think it's it's ba- apparently it's based off the book written by Frank Miller. Oh yeah, what? it is. It is. Yep. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're kind of we're kind of in the gaming drought, right? Like I'm probably not. We're not gonna. I just looked at the Cyber Shop game. It looks it looks pretty good, but I mean it's it's, it's very um. I will say the the median or the medium oh, went week. out January twenty eighth. I've definitely already maybe pre ordered that and will be playing it as soon as it comes out. But Boom. It, it looks pretty. It looks sufficiently creepy, but not too creepy to where I'll be too much of a pansy to finish it. I'm excited to play. It looks really good. I'm excited <laughs> to see the the like the duality of the two. Like the medium world and the regular world. This is, it looks very, very, very interesting game. Very good. Um, yeah. Very excited. Trex, do you want to play it? No. It's, it's scary. It's very scary. <laughs> oh my God. It's not, it's also, you know, it's also not an MMO. So, you know, Trex gets It is not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the scariest thing he watches is American Gods. <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> so uh so looking into king arthur's knight's tale so why early access uh i'm only gonna read like a first little bit of it knight's tale was initially funded by a kickstarter campaign and we plan to keep involving the community in the development process we will take this time to uh, iterate features balance changes and more together with our backers and early access players to make sure that they receive a fine polished product by the time the final release so uh, this is you are Sir Mordred, the nemesis of King Arthur, the former Black Knight of Grim Tales. You killed King Arthur, but with a dying breath, he struck you down. You both oh, died, shit. and yet you Whoa. both lived. Whoa! The Lady of the Lake, the ruler of the mystical island of Avalon, brought you back to end a true nightmare. She wants you to go on a nightly quest. She wants you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur or whatever he has become after she took his dying vessel to Avalon. So this actually might be in your... What you started. (laughs) This might be in your realm, Christina, because it is a role-playing tactical game, a unique hybrid between turn-based tactical games like XCOM and traditional character-centric RPGs. Oh, oh, I'm I'm looking at the trailer now, and it's like, oh, this is is me. (laughs) This is me. Like, so if you well, definitely like, if do you like XCOM? Do you like King Arthur in the Round Table? Do you like I, horror? It, yeah, there's a lot of horror. <laughs> yeah, it definitely. If from what I can see, uh, it definitely has that feel of um, of some XCOM. But have you have you played uh, Banner Saga? I have not. But, I've seen it played. I haven't actually played it. Yeah, so the the gameplay kind of looks more like what game uh, what Banner Saga utilizes. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's def- there's some definitely de- or definite ta- um, strategy to this, and I'm going to fail miserably. So everyone, come watch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, uh, that comes out on to early access on the 26th, uh, so next week as of this recording. So uh, I do wish it well. It's It looks pretty good. It's weird for me to see that kind of game for an early access title, but, you, you, I mean, I'm not sure how what really they want really involved with feedback. I mean, in my eyes, Steam Early Access is still your pain to enter into the beta. So please understand, the final product will may be different. So buyer beware. Understand you're buying the game to play it, but you're buying it to test it. So please be sure to give your feedback to the developers to make sure it's a nice polished game when it finally official releases in two years. You mean it sold like Cyberpunk should have sold? Is that what you were saying? Oh yeah. Oh shots fired, <laughs> CD Project Red. I mean, CD Projekt Red probably should have at least utilized a little bit of early access benefits with the PC. I mean, mm. it's like it plays great on PC. Yeah, about ten percent of them. Come on, man. <laughs> it's it only crashed on me once, but I haven't gotten very far in the game, so I should. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Uh, Netflix show Curse Cyberpunk. It's good though. Yeah. No. Listen, Curse still. Died. I haven't seen Curse in a couple of weeks. I'm not sure at the end of the season. But yeah, he was like, "No, it's great. It's a fantastic game." Everybody's lying. I was like, "It's because you're playing on a bomb ass PC." Like you, you are the one percent. <laughs> yeah. Look, even even, very... even my friend Code Carnage, you know BFF, even Code Carnage, oh my God, badass yeah. gaming computer that he has. It's a beautiful game. It plays very well, but even he knows he can't ignore the bugs, and the bugs are there. It's. I have a very middle middle of the road PC. The bugs are there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I get to be honest. I'm playing on a Series X, and uh, I didn't see too much. There was a, there's been a couple of things that like, oh, uh, there there's one. I got f- flung at one point, like down the highway. I was like, I didn't know what's going on, and I, I was like really far away from my destination when I just was a minute ago really close to it. So I was like, that's probably the biggest bug. There was a couple of small ones. I got like thrown across the street by bumping into a traffic or a, a, a trash truck once yeah it was it was like going really slow and then it hit me and i went Whoa! And i was like <laughs> i got flown into a river and then i could <laughs> walk in the river it was funny as hell uh, but... i watched i watched beat em ups video on it and apparently there was a like a random npc character that got attached to his character and like <laughs> Followed him everywhere for the rest of the fucking game. Like he's he still had hours to play, and this person would like walk behind him, follow him everywhere. If he got in the car, it sat in the passenger seat. Like it was wild. <laughs> so I don't oh, know. No, that's a creeper. That's called that's like stalker mode up <laughs> the up team thousand. It runs fine on PS. PS2, yeah, P- PC, PS2, yes. Yeah, I was watching Arwen play, and this he'd randomly have assets pop up that looked straight out of a PS2. It would just be like <laughs> Cyberpunk, and then like a PS2 truck pulls up, and I'm like, what, what, what is that? Like, <laughs> it was good shit. Rip CD Project Red died tonight on Game Report. Definitely died. Uh, well, I mean, they've been dead a long time ago. We're just taking, the, we're just literally poking the carcass with a with a stick. <laughs> yeah. um, at this yeah. point, but speaking of things being up, uh, Trex's alley because he brought up his phone and that was a long time ago. Um, there's some new stuff coming out on Game Pass, man. What's coming out on Game Pass for that ass? It's a little bit of me, a little bit of Christina. So, <laughs> Game Pass is bringing out some Fuck new yeah, games yes. in the next couple of days. One of the big things coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC, which we already know, Control coming, Arwen loves it. Uh, I'm excited for it. The, the biggest addition to it is the Yakuza Remastered Collection. Three, four, and five. Yeah. Yo, Raph be like, Xbox don't care about the Japanese games. Well, how about that? How about <laughs> that, Raph Prime? Uh, almost the whole Yakuza series. Almost. <laughs> he's gonna bring out. He's, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna bring up Final Fantasy 15 being pulled off. Uh, don't worry, he'll, he'll bring it up. I'm waiting for it to pop right up in just a second. Yep. Uh, all right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, also, and that's coming out on January. They're coming to the service on January 28th, which will also be the uh, the same release time that comes to Steam uh, on January 28th as well. Will be the launch of Medium hitting Game Pass on day one. So, wait, wait, Medium? Yeah. Come to Game Pass? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 15, well, 15, 15 bucks a month right there. What y'all on. doing on PS and PlayStation at this point? There's no fucking point. Wait, did I? Dang did it. I, I already pre ordered it like a long time ago. <laughs> There's no reason to own a PlayStation at this point. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I just. I don't. I don't know what people see in the PlayStation. I just don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on. Are you you on the lights? Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Carlin was definitely about to you throw her PlayStation controller at me for some reason. I didn't even uh, no. say anything. 
<laughs> so I, I, I just, I just, no. I just want to bring up. I, I just want y'all to know. I didn't know that uh, that Christine was also not a fan <laughs> of the PlayStation. I, I, I that, that wasn't the goal here. Uh, <laughs> but, but, uh, but here we are. Uh, and the viewership has dropped. Listen, it's fine. Look, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> if I have to be the the big PlayStation defender, uh, I probably won't be. But <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's all right for the rest of you guys, I mean, I also have the Xbox controller right here. <laughs> Boom. Both systems sit right next to me, and the Switch. And she's also now a PC gamer, so. And the PC, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a poly gamer. Same, <laughs> same. Represent. Yeah. Uh, but the other games coming to the service on January 21st, like I said, uh, Control will be coming out on the 21st. Death Brothers Three and Donut County. The fuck is a Donut County? What is I that? I knew you were exactly about to ask that, so that's why I clicked it. And apparently, <laughs> PC Gamer gave it an 83 review, oh, and shit. it's a tale of raccoon, a tale of raccoon wrongdoing. I feel like this is like uh, like the Goose Game, except with a raccoon. This is what it looks like. It, if I'm to describe it like as accurately as possible for no one who, for anyone who has not seen the game, it kind of resembles. I mean, the art style, yes, res- resembles Untitled Goose Game, but the mechanics, I would say, is comparable to maybe Katamari, or yeah, it's is it okay. Katamari? But but instead of like pushing a huge ball with uh, against stuff to make it bigger, you um you make things or you push down you push things down a hole to make the hole bigger, something like that. Something like that. It's an easy breezy game. I like that the what? opening picture on the on PC Gamer is the raccoon answering a text on the toilet. I think I think that's what I'm. T- I mean, do you answer texts like other than on the toilet? I don't. I thought that was where you're supposed to answer. God, what's what's that's what phones are for, right? Like, yeah. mobile, you just take it into the bathroom with you. Then yeah, you that's why I, I catch a majority. Leave- I don't know. How did we live before the self, like before the smartphone? I guess. How did we go to the bathroom? How did we go to the bathroom before this? (laughs) (laughs) We got in and we got out. That's what what people used to have, like magazine racks and shit in the toilet. Yeah. Had a dedicated book just for the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Don't take that book out of the bathroom. It stays in there. Yeah. I read a book. I, I I had a friend. I remember doing he said, puzzles. When the Harry Potter series first started, he like he said he read like half the book and like when he stood up his legs were numb. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize how good it was gonna be. Uh <laughs> read an especially bad book for but like, well, I mean Yeah, well yeah, if it's bad you're gonna get up pretty quick, but yeah. All right, man. All right, All well, right. so there little, you go. A little bit of news from me. A little bit of news from Stevie B, because this is your baby. Woo! This is my baby. Over here at comicbook.com slash gaming by Tyler Fisher, represent. Star Wars Battlefront 3 may be announced soon. Uh, so Star Wars Battlefront 3 may be announced for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PC soon. Or at least that's what the new speculation making the rounds claim. I'm excited. The speculation began last week when two Star Wars Battlefront 2 actors revealed they are working on a new and secret project together. Adding fuel to the speculation, a rumor began to make the rounds on Reddit, claiming to have a scoop on the game and its development. Up until recently, there wasn't much to the speculation, but a lot more fuel was poured onto the fire. Right in the middle of all the speculation, EA made Star Wars Battlefront 2 free on the Epic Game Store. That's right. I think it actually is still free. You haven't picked it up yet. As of this recording, which evolved... you only have a few hours. But, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Well, if you guys haven't got it in the chat, you'll get it. If you're watching on YouTube, we're live every Wednesday at twitch.tv slash Nerds of the Apocalypse. And this is the kind of things you get when you come. Um, that's right. We're pretty much giving you Battlefront 2 if you come watch us live. Uh, 
<laughs> Star Wars Battle, yeah, so they're using that as speculation that Star Wars Battlefront 3 will be announced soon. There's more, though, this week. One of the industry's most prominent insiders, good old Jeff Grubb, suggested there's truth to the rumors. Unfortunately, Grubb didn't say much of significance, but noted that he expects EA's ongoing Star Wars series, Battlefront, and Jedi Fallen Order to continue. And this is where the speculation finally ends. We'll kind of leave it there because then it just like kind of talks about it a little more. I mean, to me, uh, a sequel to Fallen Order was a given. Like, we don't even need to discuss that. It's just it's when they're going to show it to us, right? How far is in development? There's no way that, like, what what are we? What was it the other week? Like, uh, Ubisoft is uh, Ubisoft's massive will be creating a new Star Wars game, which massive created division of uh, the division series which i actually just read an article from our boy paul tassie from forbes uh boop, boop. that he thinks that the division series is if not dead is going to be on hold due to oh, the shit. Wars game that's what oh, he well. feels that's right uh Raph says more rumors with the recent track record around here regarding look Raph, it is bottom of the barrel news this week okay stop it and I'm yes, the I mean, highlight of the day. Yes, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I made it. Maybe delete that tweet. Yeah, maybe you do, Aaron. Maybe you do. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited by this. Uh, Battlefront Three. I think Battlefront Two actually got kicked off, and it, it was very good. And people were like into it, right? Like when it first launched, they were 100 percent not into it. It's probably one of EA's worst launches uh, ever. But uh at the end it got really good and i think they were like well fuck it let's put a pin in it and do it again right so the question is uh, battlefront 2 had it that's right battlefront 2 had its own original story as well which is which is pretty good is the if you ever heard of the character Iden verso that's who uh that story was about um and it followed her from a new hope to the actually into the sequel trilogy um I think they did a later patch, which added some more story once the movie was out. Uh, but, the, you know, the sky is the limit with story, and I think with the recent success of Squadrons, uh, I mean, I think it was only a matter of time before we see a new Battlefront. I, I, I think that they would either keep updating it and kind of make it a living experience or stop and, you know, make a make a new, new one, right? Like, uh, and try to sell that and have a good launch as compared to a really, really, really terrible one. <laughs> so uh, it's exciting to see where they go with the franchise. I think one thing people have always wanted and always talked about with the Battlefront franchise, this is a pure TVB speculation, here, is they wanted seamless ground and space battles at the same time, right? And there was a concept of this before EA got the franchise. Where this actually happened, right? You could actually go on YouTube and see that it was in development. Uh, it was very basic uh, because I think it was like being developed for the Xbox 360 and PS3 at the time. But you were fighting in the space. It was just like the space battles from Battlefront 2, and then you just you kind of aimed your ship at the planet and you went in, and there was like a whole ground battle happening at the same time. Um, and things that happen in space and on the ground kind of simultaneously affected each other. So. Uh, I don't know if that's the route they'll go with this, but it'd be interesting to see what they did because this was almost like a carbon copy of the first Battlefront that EA did, and they just did Battlefront 2 and threw a story mode into it. Um, and many, 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 many loot boxes. Um, so we'll see where the next one goes. But uh, I, I'm pretty confident that they're, they're in development. Battlefront is a big franchise. Um, and it's back in fans' good graces at this point because Battlefront 2 is a good game now. Um, so yeah, Battlefront 3, baby, let's, let's go. I mean, wasn't the big thing about Battlefront 2, like the game, of course, was gameplay was pretty solid, but it right. was the monetization that yes. really oh, killed yeah. the launch of it. It did, it, 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 it didn't just kill it, dude. It was, it was fucking slaughtered like animals. <laughs> <laughs> And not, and not just the men, the women and the children. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, it was it was really bad. Because, like, if you, if you... People did the math, right? And it's like, if you don't pay them more than the $60 to $80 you spent on the game, it would take you, like, 
it was some ridiculous like twenty years or some shit to get Darth Vader. Uh, it was it was it was ludicrous. Like it was just it was it was out of control. It, 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 it didn't make any sense. You were forced to buy other characters. There was no question about it. <laughs> and the young ones exactly. It turned around so much the sites decided to go back and re-review it. Yes, it did. It definitely. It, I, I can tell you from experience, and it's not just from my fanboy eyes, even though I do wear them pretty hard. Um, that it is definitely a much, much better experience now than when it first launched. Because now you can get everything. There's, there's like no monetization in it at all. You just have to play the game to get the things in the game. Good. So, okay, nice. That's how it, That's should, how it should be. Exactly. And I think that if uh, Fallen Order has taught EA anything, it's that uh, single player games can make you a, a fuck ton of money. So. Uh, hopefully they take that into the future and, and make some decent Star Wars stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, and I and hopefully we'll go to different time periods, like maybe yes. the high. What was it? The High Order? No, that's the High Republic. You mean the new the stuff? High Republic. Yeah, High Republic. Yes. yes. Go back the... a few hundred years or so. It would be it would be really cool to have like, uh, I believe it was Battlefront Two, the original, where you could like pick an era, a side of an era, and like that's your team, but the person that you're playing against could also pick an era, right? Mm. So like you you could have the Republic versus the Empire. I think that'd be really dope. Like if we had some story in the High Republic, uh, I I think they're like they've got like such a giant High Republic push right now over at Lucasfilm and Lucas Games stuff, I think you might be onto something. Yeah. Um, it'd be really cool to see something like that. You, you know what I just thought of? Uh-oh. Like, um, a game that, like, I mean, if they're going to retread some some old stuff, uh, bring back, or let's bring back some form of, um, oh, God, was it? It was it was the Commandos um, back in, what like, oh. Commandos. <laughs> Such yeah. a great game. Republic, Republic Commandos back in like the 360 or just no, it was the original Xbox days. Yes. Um and and like if they want to update it, we can put in we can replace them with the bad batch. Yes. The bad oh, look, I I think we're about to do some awesome things from the bad batch. Yes, I agree money, with you 100%. Star Wars. I'm making you money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Uh Commandos, Gorgon Knights Scott. Yes, dude. Commandos is such a great game. I remember watching the first trailer for it. And I think the only thing that was out was the was episode two, right? So all you got to see was basic ass clone trippers. And then you had this like trailer of this elite army. And it was just like, what? Like this elite group of soldiers. Like, what the fuck? Dude, this is amazing. It's such a great game. Uh, they said lots of companies have gotten to where everything has to be multiplayer. So they can um, uh, monetize shit in some way. We need to swing back to more single player stuff. I don't think that there's a single person that disagrees with you. I agree with you 100%. It's, it's fucking it's ridiculous. I would even be willing to pay a premium price for DLC. Like, if, like, if it was like 80 bucks, but I got DLC, I'd pay it. I, Bad I batch. I would. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, it would depend on what what the what the if it, like I, I'm thinking of something like uh, like The Witcher Three that kind of stuff. Not oh. Cyberpunk. Okay, yeah. Uh, Witcher Three definitely. Yeah. The Bad Batch co-op team shooter story game like Borderlands with Star Wars that would be fucking amazing. Yes, let's have that. Let's do that. That's it. Everybody tweet at Lucas. I think it's Lucasfilm Games now. I think yep. it's what they're. New moniker is. Let's do it. Everybody, right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we'll, we'll we'll put a pin it. We'll put a pin in it right here. Everyone, go to Twitter. Like right now. I'm just kidding. Uh, don't go anywhere. Do it after. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, share, open a new tab subscribe. for sure. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's cool. What else we got? No. <laughs> so next up is coming from Kotaku. That I don't know why Stevie V still pulls stuff from this. Uh, well, I told you, man. I was oh, I was wow. bottom of the barreling it, man. I just 
That's I'm. It's the only one today from Kotaku. Okay, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's okay. All right, man. Luke, they sometimes I don't, I don't have good things. I don't blame Luke Punkett. I blame Kotaku itself. Okay. No. Uh, but this is coming from Luke from Kotaku. Uh, Valve, Capcom, and Bethesda fined for nine point five million dollars <laughs> for geo blocking PC games. <laughs> this is fucking wild. When I read this, I think Arwen posted it. I think I think it was Arwen. It definitely was uh, like Arwen post. Yeah, that was like, what the fuck? So the EU has find uh, have fined Valve and five publishers for a total of seven point eight million euro, which is nine point five million in the U.S. over the practice of geo blocking PC games uh, sales on Steam. Which for geo blocking, because thank you for that first paragraph of explaining it basically means forcing users in a country, say Germany, to only pay the German price for a game instead of letting them buy a cheaper version of the same game from a different European country. Geoblocking breaches That's the wild. EU antitrust rules, and so the five publishers cited Bandai Namco, Capcom, Focus Home, Cock Media. Coach Wait, who? Is it Coach or Cock? I don't care. Fuck those guys. Uh, if it's the same guys, I don't know. And then Zenimax, which is Bethesda, were fined around six point two million as the owners and operators of Steam, Valve, who quote unquote chose not to cooperate with the commission, were fined one point six million euro. Oh my god! Capcom is part of that. I mean, I I would I would say that the geo blocking was probably a result of like just a mass programming thing, like just like a blanket programming code thing. But when companies have decided not to cooperate, then it's like, I don't know. Capitalism. I think that's what happened with Capcom. It was just a mistake. I don't see you say capitalism <laughs> in Europe. Yeah. Uh, is that it's it's pronounced Coke. Oh, thank you, Denny. Den, Denny, it's not cock. It's Coke. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Sounds like a bunch I of mean, cocks well, over there. Like, any, anything, anything that involves like uh, that involves like the uh, the infamous Coke brothers here in the states, it's cock. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, mm, sorry. But yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, my brain's actually trying to really process how, and again, Europe is or Europe is is completely different with how they do it. Because in my brain, I'm trying to like, all right, so as an American who's stupid, how do I <laughs> acknowledge this so I can relate? Well, I guess if South Carolina have a pricing for a game, but Georgia makes it cheaper, I want to go buy the game for fucking Georgia. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. look, I, I do it with different stores all the time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly. But man, uh, I just love how it's quote unquote chose not to cooperate with the commission. Like, okay. They're like, okay. Well, I mean, I mean they're uh, going to say no to a to basically countries. That's yeah, just like they're... to a whole economic system and. and... In government, I don't know. I love this quote here from the from the EU comp uh, competition executive vice president. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it wrong, but I'm gonna go with Margareth Vastager says such practices deprive European customers of the benefits <laughs> of the EU digital single market and of the it's opportunity true. to shop around for the most suitable offer in the EU. Well, there's a I don't know about Steam. But there's a bunch of sites where you can like buy. I don't know if this is this is probably the, not the same thing, but where you can like buy different codes from like for different regions. I don't know. I'm probably that's probably not the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just remember one time. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, as 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 well, sorry. Oh, I'm not used to. I'm not yeah. used to the three people. That, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you you're go not ahead, used to. Because Trex normally just kind of sits back That's and, true. Uh, and, and let he relaxes. It, it's the same when we were on a podcast together. He would just like sit there, relax, and we would have to prompt him to say something. 
And, and then he would just like give one letter reviews like it was good. I fucking liked hate it. What I do. <laughs> I hate when he does that shit. Well, it's so fucking funny. But well, God forbid we start talking about something he's passionate about, like monopolizing on the iPhone store, and it's Let all me hell broke. Fucking broken. tell you <laughs> about this. <laughs> Well, hell breaks loose. <sighs> I forgot as my I, joke. As I definitely have an Apple, <laughs> an Apple iPad 8th generation in my bag. Wow. I, I, dude, I hate it so much. You mean love it? No, no. It's a it's waste of... I had to have it <laughs> because I'm, I have to do training with it, and I actually have to kind of use it, but it just sits there and collects dust. Like every other. Did Colin just yell out no? <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she does not like Apple either. My new phone. When I get a new phone eventually, it probably will not be an iPhone. I haven't decided yet, but it probably won't be. Yeah, I, I took Mostly. the leap. This is the phone that I have um, after leaping off of the Apple oh. left for. Uh, what is it? The Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Nice. Yeah. Well, what do you prefer? Now you have. Now you've died. Oh, in the both pools. Definitely the Android. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. No, it's it's a. It takes a, a couple days to get reoriented, but it it definitely talks to a lot more devices than apple because like you know with apple you have to have other apple products to be able to yes. talk to each other uh with this one you can have i mean you can either like have a samsung account like connected to something else or you can just sign up with google and just have it talk to google where you're connected to everything in there anyway um or or something else but I use Google, so there you go. Yeah, you know, but it's a lot more accessible once you get down to it. Once you play with it, after a while. Arwen, don't start. <laughs> Arwen, Arwen, no, we're, the fire. we're not going to do it. I still don't have a single Apple account for anything. Whew. Mine's because I feel of work. Like, Hands down, it's I, work. I will say the the annoying thing, like if you're coming if you're coming off from Apple to an Android phone, um, there you kind of lose uh, iTunes. I mean, iTunes doesn't really exist anymore, but it's it, it stayed with your Apple phone. Like you, you have the Apple app or the Apple Music app, but it doesn't access what you've already bought. You have to subscribe to their service. Oh well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, means getting yeah. The the tra- the Arr, if, if music is already on your phone, it'll transfer to something else, like to another folder in your phone, and then you can just use it on the YouTube app because it'll already still be on your phone. But still, it it was um a little bit of a rude awakening of <laughs> about my music. <laughs> It's like, did I lose everything that I bought? Oh no, it's right here. But still, that's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> he totally lied. No denying it. Arwen started to fight. Yeah, he did. That's what he does. Though, right? That's how. That's how he does things. All right. Well, what do we have up next? Oh man, this is a good one. Who mm. wants to take this next one? Oh man, this is a good one. Uh, do you want to take your? You want to take your first? Go with it, Christina. Oh, oh, hey, yeah. Uh, right. Let me, let me. Click on that bad boy. (laughs) 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 So 2,000 PS5 pre-orders were taken by scalpers from a single retailer, the group claims. This is from Screen Rants by Cody Gravel. I like that name. Gravel. (laughs) Sorry, I'm fixated on the last name. According to a new report, a scalper group claimed it managed to acquire more than 2,000 PS5 pre-orders from UK games retailer Game during its most recent restock. Uh, PS5, Xbox Series X, S have both been out for over two months now, but both platforms continue to face supply issues with consumers consistently reporting they're unable to acquire a console despite having the money to do so. 
The PS5 has been the subject of a number of high-profile scalping reports with organized groups targeting the console because of its liquidity. I also like that word. In the <laughs> resale market, PS5, PS5s were regularly selling for double their MSRP on resale groups before the holiday season. And while the price may have wavered somewhat in the interim, the console continues to get exorbitant markups in resale groups across the globe. The in the situation has shown a spotlight on how online sales are ill-equipped to deal with the organized scalper groups, which use bots and other tricks to ensure the group gets the most consoles possible. While some corporations like Walmart have protected PS5 pre-orders to some success, the process remains hit or miss, and the console supply shortage remains a prevalent issue. I swear to God, mm. is that not what CAPTCHA is supposed to stop as robots? It's, Show it's me supposed... in the picture where how many how many squares the bus is in. Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, some retailers just don't don't do it or don't care, man. That, yeah. And see, here's the thing though about getting these though is, is that they're they're becoming more and more accessible. So it's like there's going to be a point where someone's going to have like you know sixty to seventy PS fives in their damn. Well, I don't know where these people keep these things, right? Like in their garage, in in their yeah mom's basement. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. But this this is uh, this is getting crazy. And, you know, we we've talked about the scalping thing a lot before. Um, but God, it makes me sick, man. It's just I can't I can't imagine someone like just trying to go all the time and get one, and then find out like some dick was in there. Just a second ago, and bought them all, or bought them all. Really, they're all being bought online, right? Essentially, yeah. right? Yep. Basically, uh, I mean, especially like the the online orders have like skyrocketed over the course of two thousand or twenty twenty because of yeah. because of the virus, and the pandemic, and the and the not going out and everything. Um, and so I wouldn't be surprised if um. You know the bots have gotten better, just mm. because people don't have have a lot of time on their hands. It's a result of many things that happened over 2020. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> one of these one of these days, demand will die, and they will have way too many PS5s. Without a doubt, like eventually, Sony's going to catch up and see. It's great now, right? Uh, for the scalpers, but like. Sony don't give a shit. Once they restock the retailers, the retail there's not a chance in hell that retailers, when they're full of PS5s, and some dick comes in with like 20 of them and say, I want to return all these, that they're going to be like, oh, okay. Uh, it's, no, there's not a chance that's going to go down that way. Like, they're going to be like, oh, well, 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 look who it is. <laughs> you know what? So, yeah, no, man. Fuck these yeah. scalpers, man. Yeah, but like, there's there's the other thing where like, um, I, I didn't scroll down far enough, but like, there's more. But um, it mentions that you know scalpers early on in the game were taking screenshots of you know of their abilities to get the orders, but it, in reality, like they probably didn't pay for them yet. And so they, there was still the possibility of canceling them later if they couldn't get any pre-order buyers, and oh. and then hence still mucking up the system because stores think they've sold out when, like, if they haven't taken the money yet, you know, it it, it just it just mucks everything up. Scalpers, boo! I hate you. Uh, give me my PS5, brutal. but like they're they're just mucking up the system. If they if they bought them all, if they like, yeah, if they bought them all in hopes of reselling them for two thousand bucks, then screw you. I hope you never get any of that money back. But <laughs> but then there's there's that there's a pre possibility where they just pre order and. <laughs> And cancel right before the money gets taken out. And, you know, yay for the people who are paying attention. But, you know, I don't know. But you, you guys get what I'm saying. It's just like oh, the, whole, the whole system is just dickish. 
they're they're messing it up and like ruining everyone's good time. <laughs> they definitely are. Aaron said, "Hey, Steven, want to become famous by following viewers of other stuff at Sketchy Link? I mean, I might take you up on that. Send me the link. Uh, <laughs> close your dicks, exactly." Jared, hey, you know that at work. Hope you have a great stream. Well, thanks for popping in, Jared, when you can. Uh, and we're trying our best to have a great stream. Uh, Aaron, maybe if gamers didn't buy anything and everything them selling them for so much. Well, hold on. I, I, I read that. I'm fucking retarded. Okay. Hold on. Maybe if gamers didn't buy anything and everything, then selling them for so much wouldn't even work. Well, I mean, that's not going to stop them, right? It's not going to stop. <laughs> Aaron's, Aaron's on the don't pre-order bandwagon. But I tell you what, you know what's yeah. going to happen? On this stream tomorrow, as soon as I'm done, and they announce the collector's edition and the release date of Resident Evil 8, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to get up out of this chair, walk out the door, get in my car, drive to GameStop, because it's probably the only place I'm going to be able to pre-order it, and pre-order the motherfucker. That's, that's what I'm going to do. It's just, it's hard. I, I, I pre-ordered a PS5 and a Series X as well. I invented the bandwagon, to be fair. That's right. I mean, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I get what you're saying, but telling gamers not to pre-order, I think is something that's, I, to, yeah. to be fair, to, to be fair, fair I only yeah. pre-order things that I know that I'm going to buy day one, that I'm going to want right away. Like, those are the only things I get. And, and I have to pre-order the collector's edition of, of RE, anything, because if you don't, then you can't buy them on release day. They don't come, like, you have to pre-order to get them, um, most of the time. Um, but I mean, I mean, gamers aren't the only people who who pre-order. I mean, there's there's all sorts of there's scalpers ev in, in every situation. Oh, like yeah. the gaming, the video game world is just where it's more like more money is in the game. I think maybe with with the exception of concert tickets. I think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's big money in scalping, and Scalpers. I don't know why. I don't know why I never got in the game. No, just <laughs> Cause maybe because I'm not a jerk. <laughs> That's right. Yo, people do it for, for the damn Star Wars Black Series figures too, and I can't stand it, man. I'm just trying to get one, man. All I want is one Mando with Grogu from Target, and I can't even get one. Well, I didn't even dig in one. I finally had someone in the back for me, but damn. Now people go in there and buy all five that are in stock and then sell them for quadruple the price on a Facebook page. Oh, and they sad. get yeah, they get they get berated on these pages. I love it when someone posts something for like triple the price because I'm like they're you know, coming for you. <laughs> back when I was an entertainment writer, there was this one time um because you know, any time that I would go to New York Comic Con uh, I would be invited to speak with the Star Wars guys who had the um, the toy department with um, Hasbro. And so, like, the last time I was talking with them, uh, they were more, it was more like, uh, hey, look at all this cool stuff. And can we get your opinions on what we can do next? <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was like, there was this one time where I mentioned that um, their dolls were getting scalped, and so they gave me, they gave me like a doll for my nieces, and it was like it was really cool. Always support those Hasbro Star Wars guys because they're cool. But th there was no reason for me to bring that up. I just wanted to tell it. <laughs> yeah, I got free shit from Star Wars and Hasbro. I just wanted to share with the group. But go on. <laughs> A whole bunch of free stuff from Hasbro Star Wars people because they like... might get it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like every time someone posts them on Facebook, I get the chance to post the Spider Tracks picture. I do it every time I can. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I we were having this conversation before we before we started, but like, uh, I had completely forgotten about these about the sad Spider Tracks until you mentioned it, Stevie. And then I remembered all the times uh, on a separate podcast, Trex, were, Trex and I were on, that we discovered this meme, and we berated him with that picture. So he was getting it on two sides. Well, <laughs> I made I made an emo for the for the. Uh, <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> he was so mad at me when I updated that. 
was so You'll get that amazing email if you subscribe now for 20% off. Um, Our sweet summer puppy. Yeah, it's great. Uh, well, uh, to be fair, I can take full credit for that. Uh, I, I can take credit for resizing him for emo. Um, I, th- I think either uh, Raph or Arwen actually made the picture, but it was very funny because they, they took the picture of this kid in the spider suit and put Trex's weird face on um, not nothing. Have a weird face in general. The weird face you were making. Sorry. Do we even know who this kid is? No, but we have to find him. Yo, man, I want to find him so bad. I don't even know where to start. Listen, <laughs> if, if, look, I might. We're gonna know the investigation twenty twenty one. We're gonna find the spider kid. I don't even know where that picture was taken. I don't even remember how I found it. Like I gotta find. I thought it was Trex. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry don't worry Aaron his mother thought it was him too at one point <laughs> find him it's the guy on the left <laughs> uh, speaking I'm, of collect- go ahead. I, I'm sure like Twitter the Twitter detectives will know that's true that's right discord lied to me oh Aaron we did I think we did and then we all convinced Aaron it was really him (laughs) Uh, speaking of collections I've been looking to grab a Bioshock 2 collections so I get that vinyl soundtrack hell yeah man some collections have some dope ass shit in them I really regret not getting the RE6 one I really wish I would have because it had like a really cool like C virus dispenser in it Um, now they're online for like a bajillion dollars uh, so it's ridiculous. Yeah, they so they uh, Arwen took the picture a couple of days ago and added the tall lady that's been going viral uh, for Ari Village and put her in there as the one getting her boob grabbed <laughs> and posted it. It was, was so funny. That was a good match. Oh my god! It was almost like a perfect edit too. That was really good, Arwen. Um, you can j- join our Discord and check out Nota memes to see that photo. Here we go. In case you're not part of it. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's, it's a it's a bomb ass meme. But look, we're gonna let Trex have his fun and and talk about this last one because it was tweets from his boy bringing out even more shit about his favorite game. <laughs> so this definitely comes from J Dog Jason Schreier over at from Bloomberg. I love that he posted this at 12 a.m. Eastern. Like, <laughs> fuck. Just to start everybody's day. <laughs> just with this inside tw- uh, inside Cyberpunk 2077's disastrous rollout. Now, the last time Jason really went in-depth with an article like this was, Beth- uh, was um, EA's Anthem. Oh, and, like, yeah. The whole yeah. history of how it snowballed, how it started into a good idea, snowballed into horrible, horrible directions and productivity, and then what we have now, a dead game. Yeah. So we all remember that Cyberpunk last week, uh, they uh, the chief executive officer, Marcin uh, Awinski, and uh, basically c- created this apology. There's a whole apology video. And... I did watch it. Stevie B did. And I'm like, I don't want to watch it. There's nothing he can really say that. No. Yeah. It was, it was a shit show. It was, it was fucking, I don't know, man. It was embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, so yeah, it was a five minute video of apologies and such, but so Jason being Jason, being the investigative reporter that he is, this dude went in, Interviews with more than 20 current and former CD Projekt staff, most of whom requested anonymity as to not risk their careers, depict a development process marred by unchecked ambition, poor planning, and technical shortcomings. Employees discussing the game's creation for the first time described a company that focused on marketing at the expense of development and an unrealistic timeline that pressured some into working extensive overtime long before the final push. CD Projekt declined to comment on the process and provide or provide interviews for the story. So, good job, Project. You're doing good. Uh, 
<laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to jump around a little bit. But I mean, we all know, especially like, you know, 2077 during the Xbox event, E3 in 2019, who we have? Keanu. Keanu. Good old Keanu. Out. And this is definitely not dunking on Keanu either. Like, you know, Keanu is Keanu. He's he's great. He's an amazing human being, and he deserves a, a lot more in life uh, in everything. Uh, so, of course, we had everything marketing-wise going about. Uh, one of the things I really picked up from this article, too, that I'm trying to actually find it, it's, it's right here. Uh, so, Adrian uh, Jukabayek, uh, the former audio programmer for CG Project said one of his colleagues asked during a meeting how the company thought it would be able to pull off a technically pull off a technically more challenging project in the same time frame as The Witcher. Someone answered, "We'll figure it out along the way," he said. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, and even more so for apparently, like they were creating the engine for this game. At the same time, they were creating the game. It, like, ooh, holy crap. I'm trying to find the quote here. Uh, God, actually, I, I literally actually lost the quote. But because they were doing that, they were, there was basically stalling production because they had to wait for certain aspects of the engine to be made in order to continue creating the game itself around that engine. Uh it was being referred to as uh, driving a train as they are laying the tracks down instead of laying, letting the people lay the tracks first, ahead, give us a head start, and then we can start uh, driving the train. No. It's, it is once again just a... And it sucks, too, because if, like, if it was just one thing, it was EA with the Anthem thing. It's like, okay, well, me again, too ambitious... We remember yeah. what happened there. The engine that we saw from uh, from Bioware at that time, like the engine looked great. The E3 trailer looked great, but the E3 trailer was like the game still in production where we just got the actual engine working a week before we had to make that trailer. They created, they spent more time on that trailer to show it off at E3 than actually working on the game and where it also stunted how the production went into as well. Like, and I recommend, please, go over to Bloomberg.com, my boy j Dog, read the article, just like I told people to go and read the article when he did it for <laughs> EA. Like, it is mind-boggling that this all came about and, and I'm, sad, I'm sad that this happened to CD Projekt Red because, yeah, they had such a great track record with their games. And I also right. hate and even more that, yeah, they kind of boasted, we don't believe in crunch. And yet every <laughs> single person, I'm pretty sure, was eating themselves a crunch bar. Determined that. That was a lot. Um, yeah, man. And see, what drives you crazy is, is playing it. Like, it is a good game at its core. Like, it really is a really good game. But, like, man. I still go by my initial assessment, man. It's like it's like uncooked cookies, man. Like it's like a cookie's been in the oven for like half the cook time. It's still fucking delicious, but man, it's a huge mess, man. You get it everywhere. You gotta wash your hands after it. It's just ridiculous. So it's 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 crazy. A uh, rap says sounds like Final Fantasy 15 development. At least Final Fantasy 15 came out basically functional though with the bow sip. I mean, you have to boast it. Like, well, I don't know if you're both sipping towards Cyberpunk or towards us, but like, I 100% agree with you. Raph, I know we don't agree that much, but I agree with you 100%. I think that, you know, when Final Fantasy 15 was in a state like Cyberpunk, they are like, well, let's not release it and fix it, as compared to what they did with CD Projekt Red, or with Cyberpunk, rather, um, which really sucks. It really sucks that they came out and it did, because it is really a good game at its core. But, man, when, when, you, when you tout a game for this long and then release it on the console you've been touting it for, and it doesn't work, and your response is, well, it works best on the newest ones that most people can't get. Uh, you know, it's, just, it's man, it's rough. Yeah, and just... It, it, you, you also have the PS4 Pro Special Edition of Cyberpunk that a lot of people got, and it can't, yeah. it can't even really play on that. That's that's fucking ludicrous. Uh, oh, I'm talking about making the game and engine at the same time. Okay, okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Um, 
ludicrous. Man, I just I haven't I haven't played it since the last time I streamed it. It's good. And then I and I I, I kind of would pull the uh Yarno a Denny and was just like, "Well, I'll wait. I guess I'll, I'll wait for the update to come out." But man, when their little timeline that they released during that when when uh, one of the lead one of the owners, I believe, was one of the owners uh stopped like that's like the last thing on their fucking list to come out. Like those things aren't coming out until like October, November. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. Like, yeah, that whole the whole next the free next gen console update isn't happening until at least quarter four, maybe the end of quarter three, which fucking yeah. wild, even, man. even their roadmap still in the same aspect and vein as the rest of the game that they showed. Like, but when I look at this roadmap, it's it's so terrible because you don't. I mean, I understand you probably don't give us dates, but like patch one point one, patch one point two. And then multiple updates and improvements down the line till 2022. And even in there, we have free DLCs and the free next-gen console update that, again, isn't happening until at least end of quarter three, definitely probably quarter four. Like, we were expecting the next-gen console update now. Yeah, no, I, I <laughs> thought at least at the latest I was thinking March, right? Like, I was like, they're at least going to have it out by March at the latest. And they were like, like they just said, they pushed it to fucking fall, man. Fall. I don't even know where I'm going to be in the fall, man. Like, what? I don't even know what my, what my life is going to be like. <laughs> I, Definitely happening. everyone will have moved on by then. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be so much, there's like so much touted to come out, especially for the next gen consoles at the end of the year. And it's just like, who's going to give a fuck about this game then? Like, <sighs> I mean, sorry. if they pull some kind of Hail Mary, like, like No Man's Sky, then, I mean, that'd be, that'd be a miracle, but I doubt it. I, w with That's this what really kills me company. is that this is a single player game. This is a yeah. basic one and done game, but. They have ideas on how to continue on with folks playing the game. It's like, what ideas do you have? Do you want to introduce a multiplayer? Do you want to introduce like a Grand Theft Auto Online kind of situation? CD Punk, uh, Cyberpunk Online 2077? Like, bringing that multiplayer aspect to it? Like, what do you want to do? Because I think like if you plan on it and that's exactly what you want to work on, you better announce it now. To actually right. give people a reason to keep going. Because, yeah, that free next-gen console update in the fall, motherfuckers, we should literally just... PC should have had the EA Act, uh, the Steam Early Access tag. That's PC right, players sure. would have been absolutely fine paying money for this, playing it like it is. It's like, oh, it's okay. It's an Early Access game. We, we're we fine. Console players might be super pissed. But well, that's exactly what's happening with Baldur's Gate 3. Like, yeah. yeah, it's a great game. It's full. Of, it's fucking buggy. But hey, man, people are testing it for him. You know what I mean? And they're fine with it because they knew exactly what they're getting themselves into when they bought it. Yeah. Like, oh, man. But yeah, I mean, uh, so it, Project Red releases this as a full launch ready game. And it's barely playable on the technically on the consoles it was supposed to launch for. So, like, you, they did so much upgrading and so much changes to make it playable for PlayStation 5 and for the Xbox Series X and S. It's like the original consoles there are for. It's like, oh, yeah, you guys. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's so, just, yeah, so at this point, thing. if you haven't gotten Cyberpunk 2077 and you're thinking about getting it, don't. Wait till, well, I mean, wait till the fall. To be I, fair, it's cheap as fuck, right? Like you can get, I think it's a best buy now for thirty bucks with the steel case. I think. Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk no. is thirty bucks right now uh, on the Whoa. Xbox and, and PS4 for uh, for thirty bucks with the steel case. Ouch! Ouch! Yeah, because I went to return mine because I ended up Holy getting crap. two. Yeah, I ended up getting two. Uh, for some fucking no, I got two because like I, I ordered one from Target from a, it was like a buy two get one free, right? So Cyberpunk was part of that before it came out. So I just I was like, fuck out the socket, Cyberpunk. But I got an update from Target, I want to get it for like a week later. I wanted to stream it day one, so I was like, well, I'll just buy it from Best Buy, take the money I get from Target, and return it to Best Buy. <laughs> and I just got around to doing it, uh, 
a couple uh, uh, over the over the past weekend, and uh, I was like, man, they're gonna think I'm trying to throw some fucking shade because they like that Friday they I went on a Saturday and that Friday they brought it down to thirty bucks with the steel case. Yeah, at Best Buy it's thirty five. Yeah, it's wild, right? Case, yeah. Uh, all right, so what we got here? We got some comments. Okay, um, sh- close said if if it's not out before RE8, so you will never experience the next gen Cyberpunk. Look, listen, look here, look, listen. Uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, I mean RE8. I would be willing to bet, like, I don't know, twenty dollars that during the showcase tomorrow they're going to announce this release date for March or April. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced of that. I think it's going to be March or April release date. Uh, I, I think it's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, I think you're right, Closer. Uh, Raph says, that, oh, "Here we go. Uh, I know where you'll be in the fall, <laughs> playing Halo Infinite <laughs> in 720p on the Xbox 360 because no console left behind." <laughs> now that's Shane Stevie and I won for the night. I mean, that's fair. Uh, I mean, that's. I really think that they're eventually going to announce that Halo Infinite will not be playable on the base Xbox One. I think I, I mean that's their best bet to handle that situation. But we'll see. Lasso run, yeah. And he says, uh, uh, Danny says in fall when the next gen update comes, it'll get it. I'll get it for ten dollars on Black Friday. I mean, it'll definitely be like. I mean, I think at the least like twenty to ten. It might be ten, but I don't fucking know, man. I guess it depends on. I can see like once the next gen updates come out, like. They'll just release like a PS5 and Series X cased version of the game for like forty bucks. Um, you know, I'm just realizing and, that WB logo was on the case. Did Warner Brothers Interactive have fucking touches in this? Wait, yeah, what? Oh yeah, yeah. I think they were the publisher for, for the US. Yeah, <laughs> they've been. I, th- I think they've. I think they've always been CD Projekt Red's publisher. If I, remember. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I think. I think it's on The Witcher as well. Oh, they have I think. been quite silent in cyber and yeah. Warner Brothers Interactive is usually vocal with shit. Oh yeah. Uh, I would say getting two because it's a PS2 game. So PS2 plus PS2 plus PS4 game. That's right. That's part. That's that's ingenious man. Uh, here comes the money. Witcher Three was WB. Yeah, I, I think that's just who puts Project Red stuff out in the US. Oh yeah, they're just the distributor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, no worries. Yeah. God, calm down. He got. He's like, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Brand new game, thirty five dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. What are they supposed to do, man? I bet Best Buy bought like eighteen hundred of them, man. Like <laughs> uh, eighteen hundred yeah. million. I mean, uh, and so I realized that what I said was actually a pretty small number for a big retail like Best Buy. So I swapped it around. Um, so they're just trying to get rid of their fucking inventory at this point. <laughs> Danny, how many how many fucking cases of Cyberpunk do you guys have at uh at GameStop right now? You guys got a shit ton? Uh I can see GameStop doing it selling it soon too. We gotta sell those no matter the cost. I mean, they like <laughs> you gotta get them out of the damn store. I don't I don't think I didn't read anything about C D Project Red like buying it back from retailers. No, you don't have a lot? Oh, okay. Um I remember with some games, man, back in the day, if they didn't sell, we would have drawers full. For like forever, oh, <laughs> it's boy. like yeah, it was it was rough over there at the GSTP. Um, but yeah, man, uh, we got a sleeve of each PS4 and Xbox. Okay, so that's not too many. Oh, we got a sleeve like as in one, or a sleeve like as in a whole row. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure there's like retail places everywhere that are just like fuck especially once like the bad press started no a sleeve of like 24 okay i thought you meant like a game in a sleeve like you only had one you know because gamestop they always open one new game up to put it out on the fucking shelf i mean i will say for for, for 35 bucks i mean i'll I'll pick it up on ps4 (laughs) you can't play it yeah you can't it's not (laughs) it's okay i have the playstation for Pro Destiny oh. 2 limited edition. It'll play. I I used to have that edition and then Spider-Man came out and then I got that. And yeah, yeah, I wish one. I would have gotten Spider-Man too. Oh my god. I I I came so close to getting it one day and chose not to. It's probably one of my most biggest gaming regrets in my life. I would love <laughs> to have that fucking Spider-Man. And now you look on eBay and it's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> it's like a ludicrous. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, like I wanted a red one. <laughs> so, it's at someone it's... else's house. Oh, that's right. Your 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 P. You don't even have your PS4 right now, Trex. Yeah, but I can always go get it. Can you? What 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 are the actual chances? There's, of oh, you yeah. actually There's going to get There's also one it. sitting next to me because I could just use Carlin's. That's, I mean, that's that's a fair statement. I mean, that is all. Well, that's very no, true. I it's it's not that I don't have access to one. It's just I don't have access to mine. There you go. <laughs> Man, he dotted you, bro. <laughs> uh, we don't got. Oh, I didn't know you guys didn't got games anymore. I didn't know that. When I left, we were still gutting new games. This game isn't mm. new. You're right. One of the employees probably took it home and played it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, sir. Uh, CC letting you play her PS4 after you shit talk? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Come on. Have I said something <laughs> negative about the PS4 tonight? Sure. We, I- did, we, had, we actually went the whole night without mentioning JR or anything. Like, that's that's... Yeah, he was. Yeah, I mean, he he's still on vacation, so it's silent time. That's right. <laughs> I, oh. uh, I I thought Trex's hands melt when he touches a PlayStation controller. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so but. there, there is. Uh, it's coming out in February, like late February, but there, there is a like a a very anime game that i really want and that's persona 5 strikers so what's the persona PM. 5 strikers because i heard i i heard rumblings about this too but i don't know the difference between this one now. so persona 5 strikers is um it's this is like a direct sequel to persona 5 um but it has a different battle mechanic where um like say you transition from like a turn base to something like in Final Fantasy, they had turn base for the longest time, and then they transitioned to um something that well, I don't know what the what, live based? yeah, like action based fighting like in like in fifteen. So yeah. um Strikers is from what I've seen lo- resembles that um, that type of transition. The game is it, it's still a, an RPG hack and slash um, set six months after the events of the original game. So look, I just want to know where the rest of my anime is. That's all I want to know. The rest of like um, oh because Persona Five came out with like a with an anime series. Okay. Just basically yeah, I'm watching, retelling. I'm watching the, the trailer for it. I will. I will play this. This is. Uh, I can't. I'm not really a big fan of the turn based anymore. But this is action based. I. I'm liking what I'm seeing in this. Yeah. So. I can't wait for that one, and I'm getting it for. It's coming out for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation Four, and the PC. Nice. <laughs> so I'm getting it on the PC. Nice. Sorry, sorry, PlayStation. I haven't used you in forever. <laughs> it happens. Have, I feel uh, terrible too, but it happens. Yo, have you have y'all watched those reckless Tortuga videos with the PS5 and PS4 girl? It is they're so fucking good. They're so well done. Uh, I used to watch Reckless Tortuga way back in the day. They kind of like restarted their stuff. They stopped kind of making a lot of new stuff, but uh, they originally did like uh, the the online gamer where like with the crazy Call of Duty guy, where he would like talk Call of Duty shit in real life, like he, like headshot bitch. You just got on like just talking to someone in the in the street. It's really so funny shit. But, like, they started this new series called PlayStation Girl. And, like, it's like a dude. Yes, yeah, Reckless Story 2. They're so funny, Dave. It's such a good stuff. And they, uh, they, it's it's like this. No, I never heard of it. Check it out. It's so funny. But they, they represent games and consoles in, like, hot people. Like, they, they did Cyberpunk, and they had this dude that tried to look like Keanu, but he kept glitching out everywhere. 
And like they have the same woman that plays PS5, PS4, and then she eventually played PS3, PS2, and PS1 when he like went to his mom's house for Thanksgiving and like pulled him out of a box. And it, it's just the way they do it is fucking so amazing. And they have like a Series X one, right? And so the series so the PS5 girl, she's like super like curvy and slender, and then like the Series X girl pops up and she's she's like thick as fuck. And it's and they just like play these characters and who was it? And there was like they did another one. Uh I can't remember what game it was, but it was like two like super buff, almost naked. Oh, that's right. It was a, it was uh it, it, it was a different gamer uh than what they do for the PlayStation Girl ones, but she was trying to decide what video card to get when the video card things and it was just like there's like one like super beefy badass dude and like another one that was like super soft but treated her right and it, dude the way they put these together and act them out are so fucking funny um you almost forget that they're people and you think that they're actual live representations of the consoles that they're playing they had the switch and it's and it was like this very uh like weeby girl like with pigtails it was so and she just like didn't give a fuck about nothing let's just play i don't care like it was just so funny and the way they put it together is really good so if you guys get a chance to go watch the playstation girl stuff on on the regular tortuga channel it's so good it's so it's the way they put it together so well done sorry i i didn't mean to just go off and attend it there but i just remember thinking like this every time they put one out it's fucking just oh man it's so good so well done He's like, come on, PS5. Like, like when they were doing the whole pre-order thing, she's like, don't worry. You just have to wait a little bit, okay? And then they did, like, a uh, when the big update came out that kind of fucked up the PS4s before, right before the PS5 came out, he tried to sell his PS4, and they did, like, this whole, like, breakup thing. And, uh, and then the person returned it, and they had this, like, another big fight about her moving back in. Oh, man, it was, it was it's just really funny. Like, this is good shit, so... I'm sorry, I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I posted a couple of them in Discord. The really, really good ones. Um, the video card one though was was fucking great. Cause I can't remember what the two what the two cards were. Oh man, but it was just really good. <laughs> and she's like, she, she's like, ah, you treat me really good, but. Look at him, and I was like, Ooh, "He does look good, girl." Go. For it. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. Okay, I'm d- I'm for real done now. I'm gonna go watch him after the stream, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. So there's there's one thing that I that I almost forgot to um to mention. Um, this does pre- pertain to gaming news, kind of. But uh, has anyone heard of what's happening to Jesse Cox right now? I saw uh, your you. I saw the tweet that you shared today. I kind of looked at. It. I I get small breaks at work, and I went through the thread and was just like, "What the fuck is happening here, man?" Yeah. So so who anyone who so Jesse Cox? He is a huge um, YouTuber slash gamer, and like he 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 does he does video games. He does let's plays, and he has a huge channel and a huge following. Um, Yesterday, um, so what he also does on his channel is uh, kind of like a, he has this uh, Star Wars series uh, where, you know, he and some friends role play kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but it's, but it's Star Wars. And so in some of his videos, he used, um, you know, like we all do if we're, if we're, um, playing Dungeons and Dragons or something like that um, online with other people. Like we, we just grabbed pictures just to, you know, like flavor up the game. And so Jesse Cox did that, um, you know, to add kind of like a visual aid um, using someone's art um, with, with a map on it. And he, he didn't uh, give credit to the artist. And now the artist is pissed. Um, and he, the way he did it, uh, he struck or he, uh, reported like eight videos 
um, that used the image and through through YouTube's um, kind of like messy reporting system, he automatically went from no uh, no strikes to three strikes. And the three strike system on YouTube is that if you get three strikes and you don't resolve it, your your channel is done. It's deleted. It's and it, it is. And this artist guy managed to do it like with one image, but he did it in such a way where he got not one strike, but three. And so this has been going on like um, uh, there, there was saying that uh, the artist was saying that he tried to contact him, but he <coughs> apparently was using an email that he no longer uses um, that, that Jesse Cox no longer uses. And so he never saw, but you know, while this was happening, some other some some Twitter detectives basically found this artist guy. I'm not going to say who he is, um, but they found his the the art in question, and it turned out to be someone else's art recolored and with a map slapped on it. So so like, and and it's also of a Star Wars ship that is canon. So it's technically disney's ip and so copyright law says only disney can actually do this to jesse and they're not because it's it's fan art from a from an artist the original artist that that made the the art it has posted it as fan art so disney doesn't care um and but this artist who is like mucking up everything on Jesse's channel took that art, recolored, slapped a map on it, and Jesse used it. He changed a few things for for his like to put in context of his game and didn't credit that guy, and that guy is pissed and wants money and but you money see how you see how mess public this... apology. <laughs> money and a public apology for art that's not even his is what it boils down to. And it's just like, whoa, everyone saw this and is like, as of right now, it has not been resolved. And he only has like maybe a couple more days to resolve it. Uh, but YouTube has so far, as of 11 hours ago, has not really said anything or done anything. But um, that's messier than cyberpunk. Yeah, I mean, like, it's one thing to clown on an unfinished game, but like, this person is literally like trying to steal his fucking livelihood. Like, it, it's it's crazy to me the way some people act like that stuff, and it's crazy to me how easily the YouTube copyright system can be abused. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, and it's and, and you know Jesse has already acknowledged. That you know he did it like he did a dumb. He didn't credit the person when he thought it was his. You know at the time thought it was his own art or that guy's art. But it, but like the rabbit hole went even deeper, and we and it just got even messier from there. And it's just whoa. Yeah, that's I, I really hope community man Jesse Cox is Shibuya community <laughs> fucking. Rock that. That dude who did that investigation, like, I gave so many internet high fives to that dude. Like, he went down pat. Fucker trying to come in there with a recolored thing of Disney's ship. Get the fuck out of here. He even went into his, like, just to even show for record where the ship even came from. He gave the canonical order of who even used that ship. Gave the name, the book, everything. Like, dropped yeah. it. You don't yeah. come after the Coxter. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Don't come after the Coxter. Yeah. I mean, he... I don't know Jesse, but I know I know his some of his friends, and, you know, his friends are, like, really amazing people, and so I, I'm guessing that Jesse Cox is an amazing person as well, and, you know... Don't mess with the guy whose intentions was just 
to have a good game with his friends. <laughs> All he wanted to do was have a visual aid. And yes, he should have, like, he, you know, you do need to remember to credit the artist, but this artist in question right now, who's being a big old jerk, is not even the original artist. That's a, really, that's a really nice way to describe him. Yeah, because that's not that's not what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I really hope he gets this resolved. Ho- hopefully, all all it, all it will take is for YouTube to notice it and one like real life person. But see that they don't do that anymore. It's all automated shit. They just like let the automated stuff take 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 care of it. And it's just mm-hmm. like I really hope he gets it resolved soon because that's some really fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Like. And Jesse's so. also at the point right now that he doesn't even care that the channel goes away. Like yeah, he's it's still, what... he, yeah, he's still fighting it, but he's at this point like I, he, he if it lo- if it's lost, it's lost. Yeah, I mean, I, he's he's preparing himself mentally if shit goes down, but like it's this one incident because it happened real fast. Um, it, it's kind of, I think it's kind of like on top of his PC dying, I think it kind of broke him a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it breaks me when my, when my, something doesn't work on my PC, not even the whole thing dying. Like, like if a stream is slow, I'm ready to smash my face through a window. Like, <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. That sucks. So. Hopefully with his, like, I don't, like, I guess his level on YouTube that they'll catch this before it gets too far or they'll reinstate his channel if it does get taken away. I and hope with, so. When it, with him being a YouTube, technically under YouTube gaming, YouTube probably couldn't give two shits. Yeah. yeah. But he he's a he's one of the big creators on YouTube. That's right. So, like, they, they have to... I mean, can you imagine if his YouTube actually got a, gotten um, went away and he moved over to Facebook gaming? <laughs> can you can you imagine? He was one of the first he, ones to do Facebook gaming. He doesn't really promote it, but like, I mean, I follow his Facebook page, and sure enough, oh, I that's get right, that's right. But but can you imagine if he finally did put effort into his Facebook gaming oh, and like promoted it and just it it would. It, would blow it would, it'll blow up for sure. I mean, he still streams on Twitch, but you know, he he doesn't give that as well. He he gives it a little bit of attention, but YouTube is his is his main gig. Yeah, I mean, that's, and, that was where the beginning, the game station, him, Toll Biscuit, Dodger, like that's that's where mm-hmm. they started from, and so he definitely still treats YouTube as home. But yeah, now that there's different markets out there, like. It sucks yeah. to lose that much history too, but like, fuck, YouTube just needs to, YouTube needs to step up and start treating their leg their their legends, their OGs, a little bit better. You know what it is? It's fucking embarrassing. That's what it is. Yeah. We we need to get a we need to get a command for fucking embarrassing. All right, so there you go. That's the game report. Our 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 first show. With Christina, thank you for coming by. Thanks like, for having this is, me. This is great. This is this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I was, I was thinking about it a long time, and I was like, I was like, Trex, how you feel about this?" And I was like, "I think you'd be one hundred percent down. I'll talk to her." I was like, "Sweet, let's do it." So here we are. So this is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good for the future. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I really appreciate. Uh, so it's, really, it's just fun to have someone else to to shit on Trex with. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm yeah. okay with it. Yeah, uh, he's good by now. <laughs> for my self esteem, I tell you what. Thanks I for. mean, but we do it with love. Well, maybe you do. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. That's okay. I mean, going to sleep crying to yourself is always healthy. That's right. No. I mean, you'll you will f- wake up feeling better after a good cry. I'm not gonna That's lie. <laughs> it's nice to have two people talking for once. 
Yo, Trix, you got a rep. You got a. You got a reputation. <laughs> Look, sometimes I go. just like sometimes I just like hearing other people talk. That's true. It it is it is very true. We had a podcast of four people, and it was really three because. <laughs> I mean, Trex it was. It, I will say, like having four people on there, it was. I'm not gonna say it was hard to get a word in edgewise. It's like I had nothing. Like y- you three were so fucking in depth with the conversation of some of this stuff, and it's- knowing, of course, the source material. I really had nothing but like one liners and silly things to really go into true. that conversation because it's true <laughs> well i mean i i mean but we also did let's uh, see we did american gods is and that's what he's alluding to but we also did westworld and we kind of sort of interviewed you as jeffrey white right I, I, I really <laughs> so like it and wasn't as, all and bad as a true artist i still actually haven't watched the second <laughs> season of westworld because you really? don't want, I, I, I don't want to watch my work. I feel like it yeah. was it was good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh thanks Aaron. Uh I don't know if I love the Mass Effect sweater more than the cat ear headphones more. <laughs> I this I this is an o, OG back when BioWare had a store. That's where oh. I got this from. And it's it's old and has holes in it, but I will never give it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about the Mass Effect uh, trilogy remaster. Yeah, you guys are gonna, need it. Yeah, you two will geek over that. Oh my god, I am I'm I can't believe Bioware and EA is going to make me buy that series for I the know. third. Yeah, third time. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> we'll buy it happily too. Wait, uh, um, nope, fourth. It'll actually be the fourth. <laughs> oh, it's only, it's only the third for me. Because I, I I bought it for the for the Xbox 360. I bought the whole series for the 360, and then I got it for the PS3. Then I got it for this PC, and they're gonna make me fucking do it for the fourth time. When I said mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna, and then I saw it, it's like I'm gonna. <laughs> well, now you're gonna. And it's his new cat. Yes, yeah, his new cat. He's gonna. Yes, yeah, who do? Bit... Who do that? Voodoo like you do. Aw, new kitty. All right. All right. So don't forget. That's it. I think that's it for tonight. I think it's it for tonight. It's all uh, eleven thirty. That's it for tonight. I think we're good. Uh, don't forget if you've been watching this far on YouTube, you can check the show out live every Wednesday, nine thirty p.m. Eastern. Twitch.tv slash Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're here every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern-ish. Uh, you know, we, we, all, we sort of had our shit together tonight because Christine was here. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully that, that, that trend will continue with her continuing to be here. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're on Twitter at Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're on Facebook, Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're on, uh, we're on Instagram at Nerds of the Apocalypse. And did I say YouTube? I said YouTube. We're on YouTube Nerds of the Apocalypse. There you go. I'm on Twitter at CVB5986. I have my own Resident Evil focused YouTube channel. Resident Space Evil Stevie Space B. Because if you if you do just Stevie B, you get that fucking pop singer. We talk about this all day. Fuck that guy. Comes up to me. Um and uh yeah, so tomorrow, just just so you guys stream the rest of the week. Um tomorrow we got the Resident Evil uh showcase of at four should four thirty PM Eastern ish, depending on when I get home. Hopefully I get home in time to start at four thirty, but It'll be right around 4.30. As soon as I walk in the door, I'm throwing on my Resident Evil shirt. I'll be pushing the go live button. And we're going to do the damn thing. I've already got the stream set up. and ready to go. Uh, Thursday, I think Ari's going to be playing some Call of Duty. And Friday, of course, is free company. Friday, we'll be playing some Final Fantasy 14 things. Doing all kinds of things. Uh, all right, Christina, where can we find you? And what are you, are you streaming? And what are you streaming this week? Go! I am streaming on Twitch at Xtina's Ninja, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter on the same moniker. Um, I am streaming. What's tomorrow? Thursday. I'm streaming tomorrow. I haven't fully committed to a game yet, but it. I'm leaning towards either going under or XCOM Two <laughs> or Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Fuck that game. 
Yeah, Chuck's just bitch about how hard that game was. Oh my god. Oh, it's hard. I, I had it for the Xbox 360 and it was hard. Dang. Yeah. But I'm glad to have the game back because it it, it was not anywhere on, in stores for licensing issues, so I'm glad it's back. Well, it's good. Yeah. So. I didn't even know it left. You couldn't get it for license. There we go. Yeah. It it was um a- anytime uh there there's like a, a game uh they f- made from a movie that you have to renew licenses or you know uh, it's gone for good or for yeah. a time. Yeah. Sweet. All right, what about you, Trex? Uh you can find me over on Twitter at this is Trex, and I'll be streaming over on YouTube, youtube.com slash Trexlite. Facebook.com slash Trexlight and on twitch.tv slash Trexlight this weekend. Uh, we'll be having Saturday, uh, Saturday and Sunday 12 hour streams, playing some DC Universe Online, and also getting into some Immortal Phoenix Rising because oh. we need to finish that game before the first DLC oh. drops pretty soon. Like, it's, I think they're <laughs> looking at dropping it uh, next month, and I, I want to be done with the game. Damn. Well, there you go. All Isn't right. right. Mr. Well, Mr. Hoodoo, isn't that right? Mr. Mr. Like he's petting that cat like he's a super villain. I mean, he, he sort of he is. is. I feel like that's not actually even a cat. That's just the, what's left from his fro. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thank you, awesome nerds, for hanging out with us. We will be back next Wednesday, nine thirty p.m. Eastern, talking about all the video games, or I guess lack thereof. Ho- hopefully, there's a little bit more news to talk about next week. Obviously, we stretch things out a little bit tonight. There you go. So thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys next week. We love you. Well, good night, you awesome nerds. I do have a picture of all the hair on the ground too. Do you? I do. Why is that not on? Why is that not on Discord? Because I would. I'm not sharing that on Discord. People Yo, Raph, the don't be a snitch and pit. <laughs> I, have, I have macros set up, man. I was just pushing the macro button, man. Come on, man. I may have been Look, logged I mean, in. I respect the hustle. Before. I respect the hustle. Bro, thank you. <laughs> I was in my own house, too, in the game. I was in my damn house. And he came into the basement and was like, What are you doing? Bust. I'm like, I'm pushing my macro button over and over again, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why are you gonna walk into someone's house without knocking, Raph? God, that's what he—that's what he does. He's rude as fuck. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be rude next. I'll be rude on Friday. What's uh, the, what's it's the not the like that's some privilege right there. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know how to say it. It's. I think it's like A U R A something like that. Aurora, I don't. I don't know how to say it. I just, I just call him a pain in the ass. <laughs> Good night, I love you. Bye. Bye, guys.